pilots from the D.C. Air National Guard rarely get to practice air-to-air -air combat with the Marines F-35s. But during a red flag, it's possible. 200 D.C. Guardsmen yeah. and 10 F-16s traveled to Nellis Air Force Base to participate in Red Flag with a variety of different aircraft and over 25 other units. The mission between air power, cyber, and space is unanimous to practice to defeat a high-end threat. We're here to be able to learn how to integrate all of these capabilities together in order to win that high-end fight of uh, any potential adversaries that uh, may choose to mess with the United States. Training opportunities like these happen every couple years and provide real-world scenarios while focusing on proficiencies. The exercise takes a team effort, and maintenance units work around the clock to get their aircraft loaded, inspected, and ready for the fight. We turn it around as quickly as we can, and we're able to meet our sorties, get the pilots uh, off on time so they can perform their missions as far as dropping bombs or air-to-air or -air missions. So it's important for us to get everything done and, and on a timely manner and deliver a quality aircraft. Pilots work with the other units in air-to-air -air combat while trying to take out the simulated aggressors from the 57th Adversary Tactics Group. Aggressors replicate the tactics and techniques of potential enemies and provide threats that help enhance the 121st fighter pilot skills. Yeah, it's absolutely imperative that we're uh, sharpened and uh, we'll be at the tip of the spear, ready to rock and roll if need be. Reporting from Nellis Air Force Base, I'm Technical Sergeant Tabitha Hurst.